I guess we're here today for the remainder of this session to find out all the other ways you can speak that would have the same result. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> no, I don't have the lump in my throat now. So. I know. So I guess we need to find out all the other ways you can do it, regardless of what you find yourself in, so it doesn't come back. Yes. Certainty. Certainty. So the lump wasn't certainty. The lump was the unknown. So now it's gone, it doesn't matter. It's coming back. I know. <laughs> Here it starts again. I wonder what that lump has to do with uncertainty. That's it, stay with me. I know, take your time, stay with me. That's it, just breathe through it. Don't go any further. Just, that's it, there you go, that's better. We don't need to go down that road. I feel like a little girl a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. I don't go don't there. I don't feel like a grown up. I feel like a little girl who just, that's what I do and mm -hmm. that's all I can do. This is the problem. You know how we can tell? Did everyone see how quickly she just about fell into that? What's happened is that realization. Now, I talked about a lump on her throat. So why did that have the realization to the real problem? Because it's an unconscious moment. Now, what does a lump have to do with being a little girl? I don't know. But now connections come through, whether that, that aha moment, the unconscious mind said, okay, this is the real problem. You need to fix this. Does everyone see how that worked? Okay, all the other little chat, that was just to feed out those unconscious moments. We got little bits, but this would probably be more the root cause. Okay, um, so you said that you get a, like a feeling of a little girl, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, little girls aren't supposed to have success, right? Little girls are meant to be pretty and sweet and do their ABCs and do as they're told. And see how the problem's totally shifted now? Nothing to do with where we started. And do, then do as you're told. What does that have to do with everything though? With you being what you are as a success? No one's telling me what to do. I have to tell me what to do and step into it. So you got to be the adult and the child. Yeah. Wow, what a mission. No wonder you're tired. That would put a lump in anyone's throat. Yeah. Yeah, what's that? It's gone again. Do you know why? Because you're getting better at it. Although you have no idea what you're doing, do you? And that's why it's working. Because you've tried many things, right? And that hasn't worked. So I guess not knowing what to do must work. <laughs> it's true. It's silly, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I, I'm good at that. <laughs> yeah. So you're better than you think, right? Acting silly sometimes is not a bad thing. I've got plenty of friends who I swear don't act stupid, but they always are stupid and have a great life. Nothing wrong with being stupid now and then, regardless of how lumpy their throat is. That's just me thinking out loud though. So what I'm wondering is, from everything we've talked about, from the success you've had, the power that you want, the reflection of you and your kids, what on earth does this all have to do with being the adult and the child at the same time and feeling what was in your throat before? You might have to really consider that. Because as a little girl... I know. I played with dolls. Yeah. And I played house. And that's There it is. I want you to sit on that for a moment. You don't have to tell me, but I do want you to think about it. But consider it thoroughly. And do you want to know a better way you can think about it? Yeah. You may as well close your eyes. Because then you don't have to worry about anything else except that. Knowing I'll look after you. Because the trance that's been catching up to you happens. So all that consideration of power, reflecting on your kids being a child. I understand all those thoughts have to spin around in your head to make some sort of connection. But consider this for a moment. If you had to coach that child, 
to be the professional you are today, I wonder what you'd say. That's it, don't go too far though. Stay with me. That chair you're sitting on will keep you safe. My voice will keep you safe. All you need to do is experience this thoroughly and work it out. Because it's not really about you. It's about that little child. That's it. Coach her. I mean, what a wonderful experience it is to grow up into an adult. I know some adults who still play with toys, so that doesn't have to go. What a memory. But also wonder how all of this experience right now, everything you're feeling, how that comes together for where we started. And I need you to take all the time in the world to think this through, knowing I'm gonna look after you. Don't rush this. Don't even rush yourself. Don't rush that child. So the trance we set up before, that's what she's going through now. See what I mean about if we get them to a place where they're half in trance, you can just say, close your eyes and go into it. Eyes fluttering, hardly breathing. She's completely motionless. Did I say to her, relax? No. Didn't have to do any of that. Now, what she's doing now, I don't have a clue. I wouldn't have a clue. But all I've done is gathered up all the information and said, hey, fix, your, fix it. You do it. I couldn't do it. Unconsciously, she can do it. The thing with the child and power, it'll all amalgamate to something until she comes out, we'll ask her. Does anyone have any questions? Big unconscious moment, yeah. And believe me when I say, I have no idea what she was talking about other than what I heard from you guys. I'm not hearing anything different. I'm just watching those moments of what information to discard and what information to hold on to. Now, the expression she has on her face, there's an integration going on where it's like a fight. Okay, it's where she's moulding into a new person, if you will, if we can use that metaphor. So how I know she's finished her trance, because probably all that will relax. You'll see the energy of the trance just relax and they're just sort of sitting there in a quiet place. That's when I know something's, it's all taken care of. Now, she may come out of this. I might have to put her back in to fix more of it. We won't know until she comes out. So depending on what type of therapist you are, this is a great time to tell your hypnotic stories, to use your, uh, your Ericksonian metaphors. Why? Because she's in a place where she'll absorb, she'll absorb all of that. Okay. See, I didn't distract her. Sort of scared me a little bit, but didn't distract her. Shows you, where's her attention? Internal, nothing's gonna break that. You can see the eyes fluttering, so there's a lot of, a lot of processing going on. Now, as a hypnotist, I will point this out just for ethics. Please don't leave your clients and go do other things. Sit with them, coach them through it. You've got to watch for ab reactions. We've got to make sure they're okay. But she's doing all the work right now. I've just set it up. I've done the warm up. She's doing the workout. Now, it's, it's classical at this point for me to say, that's it, you're a powerful woman. You'll overcome this. You're this, you're that. But that's me now telling her what to do. She's going to figure all this out. She'll piece all the puzzle together. That's it, take your time. There you go. Fix it all though. Don't leave any behind, no point in going around in circles. Doing a really good job. Good job, well done. Let's let that settle in a bit. I'll get you some water. Let's get some water, please. Yeah. Just 
sit in that for a minute. Um, so again, it'll bring this while it's come up. Um, as soon as your client's eyes open, don't jump straight on them with another question. Just let it settle in first, let it, them come down. Because there's a thing called an afterglow. Um, it's like an, um, a hangover from trance. They'll still be a little bit trancey, so trying to talk to them will be irrelevant. Just let them sit in it because there might be something still going on. See how our focus is detached from this? There's probably something still going on as well. There you go, there's some water for you. Okay, you can put it up here when you're finished. Okay. Whew, good job, well done. How are you feeling? So what happened? Run me through it. How do you feel about the problem right now? <laughs> I said, what problem? <laughs> There's no problem. There's seriously no problem. Really? <laughs> <sighs> Created it all. Seemed real. Yeah. I don't, I don't believe it worked, but that's me. I went, who might have said. <laughs> I went back to, I was seven. Yeah. In my house, when I, where I grew up, where my happy stars were. Sure. And she came with me. I just, we went right through. We went right through really fast we were high school and but it was different yeah because as soon as the boys came into her life mm -hmm. i went do you really want to go there yeah mm -hmm. and she, she like the little girl said no <laughs> and we just and she came with me she came with me came with you and i get it lighten up like have fun with what it is mm -hmm. and She's with me. She's totally with me. Oh, so you're telling me you just got to enjoy the clients you have. Who would have thought? <laughs> what a silly assumption. And really get the joy. Yeah. Of the gift and the, and the not even just a gift. That's just getting too DNM. It's like seriously, this is the game I'm playing now, and this yeah. is really cool. Couldn't be that easy though. <laughs> you closed your eyes, and that was it. Yeah. I was back in that little house and yeah. I went right through school. Yeah. Seriously. So for those who can hear the technique, what type of technique is this? It's a regression. Did I tell her to go through a regression? Who chose what type of therapy was best for her? You see the difference between implying techniques in regards to letting them happen naturally? You definitely, there are times you need to imply them. You have to regress your clients. You have to do this purposely. But that's where you're going to hit the boundaries. If, however, like we've done just for this strategy, I've built up the trance to be something wonderful, and then I put her into it, and to solve the problem, the unconscious mind said, hey, I need to regress you. Let's do the little girl thing. We can use the metaphors from that. I, I can't wait. I just can't wait. It's just so much fun. I, I get so much out of mm -hmm. working with them. Yeah. What if you have one of those clients that's just a horrible, terrible client? It's a choice. Really? I'm going to learn from it. I'm going to learn from it and I'll get, I'll get better. I'll just they're get awkward though. They don't follow what you're saying. They interrupt you. They don't bring the money on time. They just don't do anything for your business. What if you had a whole book full of them? <laughs> no, that's not going to happen. How do you know though? These well, are strangers. I just, I just... These are strangers. You don't know these people. What if they don't want the change in themselves as much as you want for them? They wouldn't be there. Really? You know what people are like. People do some strange things. A whole book of those people. Whew. You like me feeling good. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> Excellent. What's happening right now? Why am I making her feel bad? I need the, the answer she got to have some resilience. If I left her out in the world and treated her like a china plate I didn't want to break, what happens if one of those clients turned up? There's a chance they could all be, excuse my language here, assholes, and she's not prepared for it, the problem comes back. And now you're getting a bit frustrated about it, right? Yeah. What well, that's about. Because you went from having a, a, a book full of clients who are wonderful to being frustrated. You're just being the little girl again, aren't you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't 
swear I'm on camera. That's all right. <laughs> Seriously. We'll, we'll, we'll beep it out. <laughs> well, if I got anything wrong, please, please correct no, me. No, no, no. What happens is worthwhile thinking about if you've got those clients, a whole book. Let's say this one step further. Well, this could happen. The people you work with aren't your cup of tea, mm. but you get a result. And then they send their family over who are worse than them, and all your career is full of those people. <laughs> what then? I make a choice whether that's where I want to be or not. I truly make a choice. Mm -hmm. And if it is.